2000 Lexus RX 300. RS 300. We got a cylinder number five misfire. Unfortunately, on this this coilover plug design, cylinder number five lives in hell. Right? It lives way back in there. It lives way back underneath the intake, and I can't really get to any of the wires going to it. So we're having trouble trying to figure out what our misfire is from. Is it a compression problem? Is it an ignition problem? Is it an injector problem? So with a little bit of research, what we found is that that all the coils share this ground path right here, right on the block. And so what we've done, knowing that we can look at all six coils at the same time sharing that ground, we put our amp probe on that ground. And that's what we're looking at on our screen right now is the yellow trace, which is uh, uh, channel A, or channel one in this case. Uh, we're looking at all six coils. And uh, the time base that we've picked, which is five milliseconds, with a trigger setting here, every single coil, all six of them, have that same trigger point. So what's happening right now, all six coils are being drawn in the same location on the scope. If you wanted to see all six with it live, what you could do is you could move your trigger, uh, or move your time base and increase your time base, then you'd see more of them. For what we're doing right now, we want to stay where we're at. Notice that you have a second one coming in. On occasion, we see a square wave come in. What we've done is we've synchronized these coil firings using, uh, this is uh, two, four, number four. So we use cylinder number four, the signal wire from the computer that turns the coil on and off. Uh, we're using that as a sync. And so the only time that that square wave is going to occur is when the number four fires. And so what we can actually do here is we can take and change our trigger to channel two. Move my trigger level down to where we were in that area of that square wave. Put a little bit of delay to it so we can pull it over. And, and what we've actually done now, we got a little bit of spike here, a little bit of interference. Let's go, that's on the, on the, ta on the trailing edge. See all the square waves still disappearing? So I'm gonna pick a, a rising edge because of that. I wanna get away from that noise. And so now that's on the other side. Hopefully we don't have that same noise on the rising edge. I had to put a little delay back in there. And let's get up out of that. Yeah, we got some noise in this circuit which is interfering with this a little bit. But essentially what we've done with that setting is we've separated the coil firings out of out of all six and we're just looking at the number four right now which isn't helping us with the number five but you get the idea of how to use a trigger and how you can take six coil firing ramps and basically pull one out that you want to look at that's what we've done with that kind of trigger setting does that make sense all right so going back let me pause this real quick all right, so you might, you might be thinking, why are we not uh, triggered off the number five? Well, we can't get to the number five control wire. Where it lives, it lives in, in hell, way back in there. We cannot get to the number five control wire without going to the computer. Computer's inside the car. That's not the direction that I'm gonna wanna go. So we're gonna have to do this differently. Um, synchronizing off the number four down here, we can still use that, but I'm not gonna trigger off that anymore. We're gonna go back to channel one on our trigger. And you can see how the square wave's coming and going now. The reason it's coming and going is we're triggering off all six coils that fire here, where only every sixth one, the number four fires, and that's why that little ramp shows up on occasion. So what we're gonna do now is, is we can take that picture right there, and, and we, can, uh, we can go up, and we can, free, we can freeze it, and then what we can do is we can zoom. This is the feature on the van as you zoom out, with a frozen picture. Let's zoom out further. And one more. Okay, so what do you see right here? That's number four. That's number four right there. So that's number four right there. And what's this one right here? That's number four again. If we did this right, we should have six coil ramps in between these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's all six cylinders firing right there. Okay? 
That makes sense? All right, so now we need the firing order. Do we know the firing order on this car? Three, four, five, six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's an easy one, right? So if this is number four, right? This is number five. That's number six. So number five we want to focus on, which is that guy right there. How do we do that? We take our cursor, which is this guy. Whoops. We take our cursor, take this guy, and we're going to put him on what? Our number five, right? Four, so it should be this one, right? That's my number five right there. Mm -hmm. Then press no, get off of that, go back to your zoom, and we're going to go back down to times one. And this should be, this should be my number five. And that was our guy we were worried about too, wasn't it? Yep. You see the, uh, you see, you see the, the the straight up line right here, right? Um, that's not a sort in the primary. What that is on this design is that is a sorted secondary. When you see that, where we don't see, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see turn on oscillation, sometimes you won't. Um, that is my number five. That is the one we were worried about. Um, let's look at some of the other ones on a zoomed in level while we're here. We turn the cursors off, and we should be able to up and down scroll slow, left and right moves fast. So there's there's another one. So what do you see difference wise? See the turn on on this? We're looking right here. See a nice straight line. Can't see turn on oscillations on this particular car, but that's okay. But I like the way that one looks. Let's look at another one. There's another one. What do you think? All right, that looks good. And how about that one? How's that look? That looks good too. And we'll, so we'd be concerned about this one. It being a little bit higher amperage, a little bit different characteristics with this waveform. But here's the thing, this car's already had a coil replaced. So there's a good chance, right, that you can have a little bit different ramp with a different style of coil and I'm not so worried about that. That doesn't bother me at all, but what bothers me a whole lot. That was our number four. In fact, look at the number four. That was one of the coils that was replaced. See, see the characteristic of that ramp? Looks like one of the back ones that was done on this car before. This car had coils put in it six months ago, probably should have had more coils put in it, right? We wouldn't be back here again. But you know, customer don't want to spend the money, so that's what you get. And then it, look, there's our number five, guys. Looks different than all the other ones, doesn't it? Our focus is definitely ignition on this car, no question. We're not going injection, we're not going compression. Are we comfortable now, looking at that, that this intake needs to come off of this car? Yes. That is the point, that's where we're at. Number five, intake's gotta come off, right? And we're gonna inspect that spark plug, make sure the gap isn't closed all the way, which could do that. And if the gap looks good, we need a coil, guys. That is a shorted secondary. That's a classic view of a shorted secondary in, in an ignition coil on a current ramp pattern. Review on how we caught that, guys. Without a scope, you're not gonna make that call with that kind of confidence. Number five's in the back. You can't get to it. You're not gonna do resistance tests, right? We're over here on the ground that all the coils share. I mean, how cool is that, right? Synchronize with the number four to figure out firing order, and that's where we are. This was a great, great one to go with, guys. Nice job, nice job.